Hey, this is Joel with the Bad Crypto Podcast, and today we're going to talk about how to create a wallet to house your non-fungible tokens. Made popular with the rise of CryptoKitties just a couple of years ago, the ERC721 token protocol works on the Ethereum blockchain. And essentially what you've got here are digital assets. Each one is one of a kind and can be stored on your wallet, traced on the blockchain, and sent to somebody else. They can be traded, they can be sold, but each item is a unique item. This is going to be particularly interesting when it comes to gaming, but right now we want to show you how to open up your own ERC20 wallet that can house tokens. Go to the App Store on iTunes or Google Play and look for the Alpha Wallet. Now Alpha Wallet is good. I also like to use the Trust Wallet, but Alpha seems to be the simplest and most elegant solution that you can use to store your ERC721 tokens. They're collectible tokens. Now, the since it's built on Ethereum, this is an Ethereum wallet. And you can see right here, this wallet has no Ethereum in it. It has no XDAI, that's a stable coin in it, but it can hold all Ethereum tokens and ERC721 collectibles. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and make a new wallet. Okay, this one you're looking at right here is a wallet that has just a few Ethereum and some tokens in it. I store my crypto kitties and some of my other collectibles here. But what we want to do is make a brand new wallet. So we're going to tap in the upper right corner and then tap create wallet. Simple. Now, right away, it's going to tell us to back up our wallet. We're not going to do that quite yet. We're just going to go ahead and continue, but it is essential that you back up your wallet. What we want to do is see what the address is of your new wallet and to do that we're just going to tap on ethereum and then we're going to look at receive because when we tap receive it's going to show us our address right there at the bottom that long string of characters is the address so we're going to copy it now that we have our address copied we can actually view it on Etherscan or anywhere on the blockchain, but let's go ahead and back up our wallet. And to do this, we just tap back up my wallet and you do want to write these down somewhere. Okay, so these 12 words are very important. This is your key to recover your wallet should you ever lose access to it. And it's going to randomize the order that we need to uh, that they're going to display here and then we need to put them in in the correct order that proves that hey we wrote them down and we stashed them away somewhere safe we're going to verify the seed phrase and then it's always good to use some sort of biometric to lock it down i'm going to use my face so there now i'm locked down i've got a brand new wallet that i can send nfts to now another wallet that we recommend you check out is the poap wallet proof of attendance protocol and we're just going to go ahead and paste a wallet address in here that has some of my nfts in it you can basically put any wallet address and this contains my bad crypto nfts some of you were fortunate enough to see us at one of these events and claimed the exclusive nfts that we created for them and that's really it once you've done that you've created your wallet and now you're good to go hope that helps stay bad Who's bad?